your favorite deck you can play. Okay, then I'll play Red Eyes. You must prove to me that that is your favorite deck. Is this proof enough? One trinket proves nothing. I have a mat. Red Eyes Slash Dragon. Can I play now? Okay, so I know you like the deck. Red Eyes is my favorite deck, hands down. Fine, I accept that that is your favorite deck. I never have enough. Stop showing me stuff. Do you want to play Red Eyes too? Leave me alone. We both can play Red Eyes. I didn't ask for this. We're going to play a game. I live inside my own world of make-believe. All right, fellow fusioners, Character King here, and today we are playing Red Eyes. When we got the skill, you don't deserve to exist in my world. I decided this is a Red Eyes skill because the best card to work with it is Axe of Despair, which is a two-fold effect because you can either banish or make your opponent's monster be non-existent using it once per duel, or you can make it buff your Red Eyes Slash Dragon, which then has protection for your Slash Dragon by having an equip spell. So basically, we are playing a very equip spell heavy deck using our Noble Knight Spear Holder because the cool combo is your Red Eyes Fusion, sending your Red Eyes and an 80 changer from your deck. You can set Spear Holder, flip it up, and then search for either your Axe of Despair or your Power of the Guardians. Usually you want Power of the Guardians, but if you have a problem you need off the field, you can search now for Axe of Despair and basically delete your opponent's monster. Not destroyed, not banished, it is gone. It just phases away. So we are running our Red Eyes Wyvern, so we have a target for our Red Eyes Insight, so we can get two fusions off pretty consistently. Uh, our Warriors we usually send will be 80 Changer, but we can send our Noble Knight Spear Holder past that point. And then we want to make sure we open up, we're probably going to open up Equips, and then we have a one Treacherous Trap Hole. We're not running any, any other traps, so we'll work every time when we have it. Deck's pretty straightforward. Summon a strong board, negate targeting, beat your opponent, banish things that are a problem. We have the Trishula as well. Not really going to be summoned as much, but we have it. Alrighty, well... Make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what kind of decks you want to see in the future. I appreciate you guys. That's the deck. Now the gameplay. Now we're going first. Okay, it's pretty good. So we get our 80 changer in the grave, because why not? It's always worth having. So we Slash Dragon with a Power of the Guardian. And a Treacherous Set. I think that's pretty good. We could have Axe of Despair, but I'd rather use it as removal on our opponent's monster, so... Just in case. Alrighty, well, Axe to Spirit, let's go. And this will be lethal. That's the cool thing, is it gives just enough boost to be lethal. 43. Can you stop it? Magician's Navigation, oof. Treacherous Trap Hole counters that. Be gone! Red Eye Slash Dragon game. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we didn't get to use the skill, but Axe of Despair gives you just enough attack stats to throw in lethal with one monster, so that's actually really impactful. Alrighty, well, next game. Okay, so quick thing uh, the skill is bugged. It only works against bots, it doesn't work against players currently. Um, so I probably played a few ranked games, and I tried to equip and banish or remove from existence my opponent's monsters. It didn't activate. So as you see here, this is a bot game. I equipped Act of Despair. I can banish or remove from existence his Gem Knight Amber. So we just click it, select it, and it goes away. Completely gone. The skills working as intended. Now I'm going to show you how it doesn't work. 
now. Alrighty, so here we go. We're in a PvP game. We have Axe of Despair. Equip it to his monster. Skill's not activatable. Skill is bugged. It does not work in PvP. Therefore, it is a not worth running. So we're going to end the video here, unfortunately. Um, I, I would really like to show more gameplay, but without the skill working, the deck really feels bad. Uh, yeah, well, there's the deck overall. Uh, you, you see, you get the idea of it. It works pretty well, both offensively and defensively. Because so I can equip, banish this guy, fusion summon, swing. I'm in a good position, but... Hope you appreciate at least seeing how the bu skills bugged. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what kind of decks you want to see in the future. I appreciate you guys. Keep fusioning. Let's go slash.